Hey everyone, it's Josie Belay here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, I am going to talk you through about how I, my brain kind of processes things and how I come up with formulations. Today's inspo is going to be this very beautiful, muted, purpley, but has a little tinge of pink rose in it. And I'll show you how we get there. Now my favorite part, let's get swatching. Okay, so this is exactly what I would do if I had a client in my salon and I'm mixing a fashion color. I'll have three extensions or maybe more, whatever you wanna do, put aside so that while my client has the lightener on her head and she's processing, I'm getting creative and I'm doing test strands so that visually I know what I need to mix for her end result. Now remember, that's always going to be determined by what your client lifts to. And because we're creating a pastel, very muted, very light color, we need to lift her to that banana nine, that banana 10 level. So I have three strands here. One is kind of sitting at a level eight, nine, and then one strand is sitting at a for sure a level 10. So what I'm going to do first is determine the shades that we need to customize this formulation. So again, because it's something light, automatically in my head, I know we need a light tone. So mine is going to be nine and a half dash one. Um, if you guys are using another line that's not Schwarzkopf Professional, that would be like a level 10, um, something very, very light. And that's gonna be your main color. And then your second color is going to depend on what color you see in here. So my eye, I see like a purpley, violet, pinkish hue. Um, some may see a little bit more violet, some may see a little bit more red, but for me, it's like a beautiful combination of both. So I'm going to be using the Schwarzkopf Professional Booster 0-89. That is going to be our main direction after the dash will be red, followed by violet. So the violet will have less than the red in there. And this will be my second tone. And then, like I said earlier, my secret sauce is 8-11. This is what I use to create all those beautiful muted tones that you see on my Instagram at Josie Valet. And this will kind of give us that dusty muted color so that it's not so vibrant. So the first thing I'm going to do is mix a nine and a half dash one in my Agora Royal line. Um, if you're using Vibrance, it's pretty much the same thing because Agora Vibrance and Agora Royale are so true to tone. The only difference is one is going to be more sheer. So if you want something more pastel -y, I would go for my Agora Vibrance. If you want something with more uh, pigment, I would do the Agora Royale, the permanent. So same thing if you're not using Schwarzkopf Professional. If you want something, um, if you want the the tones to be more prominent and dominant, I would go with the permanent. If you want it to be more sheer and almost like a tinted lip gloss, then I would go for something that is more demi. All right, so here we go. We're gonna start mixing nine and a half dash one. And I'm going to do about, let's say, let's do 20 grams for this one because it's our most prominent color. So 20 grams of nine and a half dash one into the bowl. And you always wanna make sure you're using a scale when you're creating, well, all the time use a scale, but when I'm creating beautiful colors like this, I always have a scale. And then I keep a marker, a Sharpie close by to write down the formula so that when I'm formulating her, I remember what amount of what I used. And then you can always adjust it to how she lifts. All right, so we got 20 grams of nine and a half dash one. That's our level nine dash Sandre, which is a blue violet. Again, if you're not using Schwarzkopf, you can do like a level 10 with a violet or blue direction under that, or after the dash. And now I'm going to add my booster, my zero dash eight nine, which is prominently red, followed by my red, or sorry, by my violet uh, undertone, or my violet tone direction. And then with this, you because it's a booster and it's super strong, you don't need a lot. So for 20 grams, I'm going to use about, let's say, we'll start off with five grams. So this is why I like to have different test strands because you can see visually how it deposits and then you can always add more of your lightness so to control that the 
the level. Does that make sense? Is everyone following along? I know sometimes coloring um, and mixing formulations can be a little scary, but trust me, it's not. As long as you have test strands and you have an idea of where you're going and where you came from, it's super easy. So we're gonna do five grams of this, making it 25 grams in total. Okay, and then always, 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 I have my level 8-99, which is going to be like a level eight, but with my double Sandre blue violet direction. This is going to help me nude it out and create that beautiful dusty color. So that, that pink, that red violet isn't so like a fashion color, it's not too vibrant. So I'm going to double what I put in my booster with my 8-11. So I did five grams, now I'm going to add 10 grams of 8-11. Okay, and it's always nice to have a base of where to start, you know, because sometimes you don't know how much of what to put in and you won't until you have your first strand done. And then from there, that's when you're gonna build on if you need to say you need to add more red or you need to add more lightness or you need to add uh, more depth. That's where your first strand is going to tell you what direction to go in. So because I'm using Agora Royal Permanent Colors, I'm going to be using 10 to volume developer with that. So the ratio is one to one and use 35 grams of color. Now I'm going to use 35 grams of developer. Making it total of 35 and 35. So now we're gonna mix it, make sure you're mixing well and that's why I always say have a nice clean, sturdy uh, whisk because sometimes the wires are off and they're not hanging right and I don't know, I just always like clean things. It makes life just so much simpler. Okay, so after, and always when I mix, I know it's really weird, but you always want to make sure you get all those corners in too, because sometimes you have boosters or whatever extra, you know, your formula's hiding in there, so I want to make sure that's in there nicely. And then you want a nice clean brush, and then you're just going to apply from the tip of the extension all the way down to the end. Important thing is to always make sure you get both sides so you can fully saturate your extension. This one is a little sticky because it still had some leftover tape on it. That's why I love keeping my client's extensions. I don't like throwing them out after because they're great for swatches. If you don't have swatches or extensions, you can always order them off Amazon. They sell them on there as well. And you also want to have a, uh, a wide tooth brush to make sure you're just, again, getting that color to fully saturate on both sides. And just comb through. Oh, she's a little rough, this one. <laughs> okay. Perfect. So after you put her down, I always make sure I just do a nice comb through. And then I do one more color. Now, I would let this process the full like 10 to 15, I would say 10 to 15 minutes because that'll kind of give you an initial idea of where to go. Um, so we'll come back to this guy and we're gonna keep this full because now what I like to do is after you see what your first strand kind of um, oxidizes to, you can add more lightness or more depth depending on where you need to go. So we're just gonna set this guy aside. 